Today is gonna be my monthly favorites video, and I know these aren't the most exciting videos and not everyone loves them, but it's quite nice to just have like a moment once a month where you sit and just talk about your favorite things from the month. I kind of like the routine of doing them. As always, I've got a really random list of things to talk about. Gone are the days where I just listed hundreds of beauty products that I loved. Now it's like the most random list, but I wanna keep these really honest and true to the things I actually love. I think I've got about eight things on my little list here. The first one actually is a beauty product and it's the Maybelline The Eraser Eye Concealer. I never had any interest in trying this and I don't I don't even know what made me try it, but I picked it up one day and I am in love. I'm pretty sure Amelia has been using this for years, so I don't know why I didn't get it earlier, but it's a concealer that you twist up, it's got a foam applicator on the top and you can just apply it straight on the face. This is a brand new one. So look how lovely and neat it looks. And this is one that I've nearly finished and it's a grubby mess. So the packaging is not great, but then I really like the foam applicator. You just twist it up and you it's really kind of soft under the eye as well. You can kind of go like that. I put it down my nose, around my nose, on my chin, and I feel like it's really high coverage, but it blends really well too, which is a really nice combination. I use the shade Light. It fits me well. I'm pretty sure I remember that there aren't many shades to pick from, which is really annoying. But I'm lucky that this one kind of suits my skin tone. So yeah, I really like it. Worth trying, like an affordable drugstore concealer. Whilst I'm talking of concealers, there's actually another concealer that I've been enjoying this month, and it's a new launch from NARS. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I don't usually use ones that come in a little pot, but I've just been enjoying this for like touch-ups. So I like to stick my finger in, kind of warm up the product, and then it's really good for the chin. I've had a bit of a spotty chin recently. Sometimes to top up under the eye when you have dark circles or around the nose. I just find it's quite easy to use. I haven't used the Estee Lauder one that Anna loves. I'm imagining that they're pretty similar though. It's kind of hydrating, high coverage, very easy to blend and work with on the skin. So seeing as that's a new launch, I thought I'd throw that in there because I do think it's worth checking out. A TV show that I am loving is First Dates Hotel. I don't know where this is shown. It's definitely a UK program. I don't know if it's shown anywhere else, but First Dates was a program where they film people on their first date in a restaurant and it's all set up like people know they're being filmed. It's a special restaurant you go and before you go on the show, they match you with someone and they're so good at matching people. It, it normally works out and it's such a nice program to watch. It's just like, if you're really into watching human like exper social experiments, and things like that, you'd love it. But First Dates Hotel is like the spin-off show where they go to a hotel in France and it's like a lovely part of France and they actually go on a date there and if they like each other, they go on a day date like the next day. I feel like I've explained this really badly, but if you love First Dates, you have to watch First Dates Hotel because it's even better. It's so good. Oh, I just love it. And then they interview the couples afterwards and they say whether they both want to go on a date with each other again or not and it's so awkward but it's great highly recommend it you guys know i love the wet brush i've recommended this for years never got on with tangle teaser but i think the wet brush is brilliant it has a handle it literally glides through my hair no matter how many knots i have but i did a job with look fantastic maybe like a month ago and i discovered on their website that they have a wet brush cleaner i didn't even know this product existed and it's like changed my life because the only downside of my wet brush, especially the one I use to straighten my hair, like this one I'll use on wet hair, but I've got a smaller one I use when I'm straightening my hair, and it's just full of hair, and it's like gets all dusty and gross, and I actually think I'm making my hair dirty by using it. This little contraption is genius. I don't really know what this little side is for, but this one, they're like really hard, like plastic prongs, and basically what you do, I'm sorry, this is so gross, I've like left my brush hairy to show you. You kind of brush this like this, and I don't know if you can see, but it like picks up, oh, this is gross, can you see? It picks up all the hairs, and it's, oh, I'm just gonna put that down over there. It's so easy to just like get all the hairs out. It's genius, changed my brush life. Definitely get the cleaner if you use the wet brush. This lipstick combo I talk about in an upcoming video, so I'm not gonna go on too much about it, but I've always really liked the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, and she's recently brought out a Pillow Talk lipstick to go with it and it's just a beautiful, it's like a nude pink but with this gorgeous like rosy tone to it and I find it so flattering on my skin tone and I love her Matte Revolution lipsticks because they're so long wearing but comfortable on the lips. So this combo is just dreamy. I feel like I've already talked about it everywhere so I'll leave it at that. The next favorite I'm also talking about in an upcoming video, it's my Gucci Soho Disco Bag and I've actually already pre-filmed a What's In My Bag video so you will see that soon where I'll go into proper detail about the bag and what's in it, but 
I just wanted to add it into my favourites because I've worn this almost every day since I bought it and it's without a doubt the best bag that I own. Come back and watch the What's In My Bag video because I'll talk more in detail about it. I just really wanted to put this in because oh, I just... I love it, I love it so much. Keeping on the accessories theme, I have this necklace which you guys would have seen in a lot of my videos and if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram stories, whenever I post an outfit, I've been wearing this a lot. It's a necklace by a brand called By Alona and this was actually given to me as a birthday gift by the lovely girls from Clinique, which was very, very generous of them. And I've heard about this brand before but I didn't own anything from it. And this is silver, which I don't usually wear silver, I'm quite like a gold person, but this is just so pretty. So it's a long necklace that goes down in to this little like pendant and then it has a long part sticking down that was a really weird explanation but I just think it's so pretty and so different and I get so many compliments on it when I wear it I definitely want to check out what other jewelry pieces she has as part of her range oh also it says what goes around I didn't even notice that really love that this candle I have kind of I'm like three quarters of the way through it's the diptyque new Rosamundi I never really know how to read their candles. It's like a special limited edition candle with this amazing wrap around it. It just looks so pretty. And when it burns, when you start getting halfway through, it glows up and it just looks so nice in the evening. I don't know what this scent is, but I love it. Let me just quickly Google it. So it's a Valentine's Day limited edition candle. Oh, so it's a combination of two types of rose. Top notes of currant and bergamot, and it's also got notes of rose and lychee. It's very floral, but in a fresh way, not in a heady way, and I really like it. My next favorite is a singer called Samuel Jack, and Rich actually got me into him. He discovered him and became obsessed, and when Rich becomes obsessed with things, it's like, like, it's all he'll listen to. So I kept hearing him and I started like singing his songs without even knowing what I was singing. So then I gave him a listen and he's got a few songs on Spotify, not, not loads, but I really, really love his music. I'm pretty sure he was born in London, but grew up in South Africa, now lives back in the UK, but you wouldn't really tell, like he sounds very bluesy, very like soulful. I just love the sound of his voice and I love the songs, they're so catchy and I don't know, I think just listen for yourself. I'm gonna leave some links below to Samuel Jack. And actually when I'm filming this video, I'm going to his gig tonight in London and I can't wait because I haven't seen him live before. Me and Rich are going with some of my family. Yeah, I haven't been to a gig in ages actually. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him live. I'm pretty sure he'll be great. I really, really like his songs. Do you know what? I'm gonna add in some Instagram favorites as well because I have been loving using Instagram recently. My username's at Lily Pebbles, if you didn't already know, if you wanna follow me. But I've just been really enjoying like looking at other people's Instagrams as well. Let me just think off the top of my head who I have been enjoying. Actually, do you know who I think has been killing it? Tijan, I just think her style is so, so cool. I love the sort of clothes that she wears. She really knows how to dress for herself. And her Instagram is pretty much exclusively outfit photos, which is hard. I don't know who takes these photos for her and how she gets a photo like every day. But it's so much like style inspiration. And when I was recently redoing my wardrobe, I went to her Instagram to look for outfit ideas. So I'm gonna add Tijan's username below. Definitely go check her out. And maybe that's it for a month. I'll try to put like one Instagram person in every month. The last favorite is another TV show. This is one we are watching on Netflix, I think. I can never remember whether it's Netflix or Amazon or Sky. Pretty sure this is a Netflix one. And it's Sneaky Pete, my sister Carly, convinced us to watch it. I feel like I've got so many things that I'm watching at the moment, but I'm still loving This Is Us and we're also watching Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete, uh, I don't wanna give it too much away, but it's about a con artist and his adventures. I don't know, I really it's really hard to describe things without knowing if I'm giving too much away, but worth watching. We're kind of halfway through and it is dipping a little bit, but I still think it's worth watching. It's quite gripping at the beginning and I'm hoping, hoping it will pick up again. The main actor in it is Phoebe's brother in Friends, which is just so funny. That's all I can think of when I watch it. Okay, that's all for my monthly favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing what I've been loving. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to. See you guys soon, bye.